talk about how you can create immersion for yourself as a self-taught developer. So getting that immersion in the tech industry without a CS degree. Um, all of my friends who have degrees have said that networking has been the biggest advantage of having that kind of like college experience. And I wanted to share some of my tips that I've found um, while I've been kind of getting more engaged with the software community as a whole, things that helped me and things that continue to help me grow as a developer. So I'll just get right into it. Number one, dev.to. So dev.to is an online blogging platform specifically for developers. There's no paywall like Medium, um, like Medium does. So uh, it makes content very accessible to people, which is fantastic. And it basically it allows you to participate in discussions around any topics that you're interested in. And it allows you to like, I find very easily uh, stay up to date with uh, different uh, with different tools and technologies and really explore your interests and hear a lot of different perspectives and conversation around any given topic that you're interested in. So highly recommended on that front. And it's also a great way to practice explaining what you're learning to someone else. So basically like teaching what you're learning, which can really help reinforce um, all of the lessons learned and all the key takeaways from what it is that you're all of the skills that you're trying to develop so number one dev.to great site i would also say that joining communities online through like slack or discord are great ways to get in touch with more developers as well and this will kind of allow you to be a little bit more consistent and speak to like actually get to know these developers kind of personally um i find that i've i've made some great connections through both slack and discord in the dev community and it's allowed me to have a lot more mentorship than i would have otherwise so i highly recommend that you join if there's like any language that you're that you really love um i'm sure that they have a community online you can probably find some on reddit twitter um, I would say Reddit is probably the, the easiest way to find these communities though, or if there are any open source tools that you really enjoy using, they will most likely have uh, be affiliated with like some community online somewhere. So usually on their website, it'll give you kind of the option to like join their community and you can kind of seek them out that way. So highly, highly recommend being engaged, you have to talk, okay? The whole point of being able to simulate this immersion is that you're engaging you're interacting with other people if you are not interacting you will not feel immersed in the tech industry and this is just it's part of what you have to do as a self-taught developer it's one of those extra steps that you need to take you have to put yourself out there and if you're finding that the larger communities that you might find through reddit or through these open source tools are a little bit scary like you don't want to maybe put yourself out there in front of that many people at once um, another great alternative is to check out some Twitch streamers. So there are lots of people who stream on Twitch in the software development category. You can find whatever kind of level of viewers are um, most enjoyable for you. So like some of the bigger streamers, it can be hard for them to keep up with chat versus smaller streamers. They'll have a lot more engagement and it might be maybe a better uh, scenario for you if you have a lot of questions. Um, and then, yeah, like most streamers will also have their own communities around their stream. So if you find a, a streamer that you resonate with and a community where you feel very welcome when you're in their chat, then you can always join their discord and that will kind of be a smaller community that you can join where there will also be lots of developers and stuff there. And it might be a little bit less um, overwhelming than some of the larger communities that you might find through Reddit. So. That is my second tip is join Twitch streams. It's yeah, live interaction. You can ask lots of questions, get a lot of feedback. And this is great for continuing your learning process, right? And then of course, I, I can't go without mentioning uh, online meetups and conferences. So these are just a given. Uh, even if it's they're talking about things that are kind of beyond your current scope of knowledge, that's okay. I would still listen to what they have to say and just have it kind of going on in the background. It's okay if you don't understand it, but it will help you tie concepts together when it actually comes time for you to learn about these things. And then finally, let's talk about social media, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, 
I personally have a preference for uh, YouTube and Twitter because it allows you to actually put out more a more quantity of content so it it kind of allows you to explain things a little more thoroughly whereas instagram you're kind of limited to this little caption and it's a little bit harder to get that community interaction uh that from my experience so highly recommend uh being engaged in twitter comments twitter like twitter threads uh youtube comments and that way uh whoever is the author of the tweet or content will be able to respond to your answer your questions and that can that might be able to help you get unstuck or hear it, a new perspective which can really help reframe certain problems so i really hope this list helps i tried to keep this as short as possible short and sweet you know, you know a little short and sweet um but i really hope that this helps some of you and uh, yeah let me know in the comments what some of your favorite resources are for uh getting connected with other developers i'm super interested in hearing it so yeah, let me know. Um, and if there's anything that you'd like me to discuss on YouTube, uh, I'm very happy to do that. And of course, my Twitch and my other socials will be linked in the description. And I will include links to um, maybe dev.to, keep you guys in the loop. I'll, I'll include whatever links I need to in the description. But yeah, I thank you guys so much. Have a good day. Bye.